Saint Catherine Drexel As it is said if your father is an international banker and you ride in a private railroad car you are not likely to be drawn into a life of voluntary poverty but if your mother opens your home to the poor 3 days each week and your father spends half an hour each evening in prayer it's not impossible that you will devote your life to the poor and give away millions of dollars Catherine Drexel today's saint has done that let's listen to her story born in philadelphia in 1858 She had an excellent education and traveled widely. As a rich girl, Catherine also had a grand first appearance into society. Her mother Hannah died 5 weeks after Catherine was born, and Catherine and her sister were cared for by their aunt and uncle until their father remarried. in 1860 the family was active in charitable works and distributed food clothing and money from their home twice a week as a young adult catherine was deeply impacted when she nursed her stepmother through a three a three year terminal illness she saw that all the drexel money could not buy safety from pain or death and her life took a profound turn catherine had always been interested in the plight of the indians having been appalled by what she read in helen hunt jackson's a century of dishonor while on a european tour she met Pope Leo XIII and asked him to send more missionaries to Wyoming for her friend Bishop James O'Connor. The Pope replied, "Why don't you become a missionary?" His answer shocked her into considering new possibilities. Back home, Catherine visited the Dakotas, met the Sioux leader red cloud and began her systematic aid to indian missions catherine drexel could easily have married but after much discussion with the bishop o'connor she wrote in 1889 the feast of saint joseph brought me the grace to give the rest of my life to the indians and the colored newspaper headlines screamed gives up 7 millions after three and a half years of training mother drexel and her first band of nuns sisters of the blessed sacrament for indians and colored opened a boarding school in santa fe a string of foundations followed by 1942 she had a system of black catholic schools in 13 states plus 40 mission centers and 23 rural schools segregationist harassed her work even burning a school in pennsylvania in all she established 50 missions for indians in 16 states two saints met when mother drexel was advised by mother cabrini about the politics of getting her orders rule approved in rome her crowning achievement was the founding of savior university in new orleans the first catholic university in the united states for african americans catherine was remembered for her love of the eucharist and a desire for unity of all peoples she was courageous and took the initiative to address social inequality within minorities 
she believed all should have access to a quality education and her selfless service including the donations of her inheritance helped many to reach that goal at 77 mother draxel suffered a heart attack and was forced to retire apparently her life was over but now came almost 20 years of quiet intense prayer from a small room overlooking the sanctuary small notebooks and slips of paper record her various prayers ceaseless aspirations and meditations she died at 96 and was canonized in 2000